guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I thought it was about time I did another testing new skincare products video. I love doing these and just discovering new stuff based on reviews online and things like that. So three out of the four products I have to share with you guys today are five star rated on the Boots website. Then I have one new skincare item that I spotted in Superdrug. They have a whole new collection which I'll talk about in a minute. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and find it helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. Okay, first up we have something from ELF Skincare. So this is the ELF Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser with Hydrating Coconut. Now over the past couple of months, I've actually become a really big fan of e.l.f. makeup. I've discovered so many amazing products through recommendations on YouTube videos I've been watching and things like that. But I've never delved into the e.l.f. skincare brand. It's always intrigued me, but I've just never kind of taken the plunge. So I thought this would be a good one to start with as I'm running out of my, I think it's my Cos RX cleanser. This skincare I'm doing today is within my morning routine that I'm testing out these products. So let me tell you a bit about this jelly cleanser. First of all, you get 100 mils of product. And on the back of this, it says that it has no parabens and no sulfate. On the Boots website, this currently is on offer for £4.67. But the usual retail price is £7. The Boots website mentions that this is a coconut infused cleansing jelly and it's a gentle non-foaming gel that conditions the skin and removes makeup for skin that's clean without feeling stripped. Now this to me actually sounds a bit like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser that I'm a big fan of and the reason why I picked this one up is because it has 76 five star reviews. Just like most mornings, I'm going to use this jelly cleanser with my Foreo Luna Mini 3. First of all, I'm gonna wet my skin. This has a really nice thick consistency, but it's not too sticky on the hands. Oh, I can smell the coconut in there. Wow, this feels really nice on the skin and actually very, comparable to the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Okay, now I've just wet my Luna Mini 3 and I'm just gonna go ahead and start using the brush. Finally, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the cleanser with a damp cloth. Wow, I really love this cleanser. It's so simple, it doesn't strip the skin. My skin feels lovely after, it doesn't feel dry or taut. It works really well with the Luna Mini 3. I do find that more gel cleansers do work better with that cleansing device. And as it mentions, it doesn't foam up and it is just so nice. I love the texture of it. That's what I like about the Glossier one. I just really like the texture. I can see why this has five star reviews. And if you are interested, I would snap it up now while it's under five pounds. Now I need something to rehydrate my face again. So I spotted, this is new from the one of the Boots own skincare brands called Boots Glow. And this is the Radiance Tonic. And it says on the front that it clarifies the complexion for brighter looking skin. Initially, I thought on first glance that this would be more like the Pixi Glow Tonic with the glycolic acid in, but this is a tonic, it says on the website, that clarifies the complexion and smooths skin to give skin a healthy looking glow. So it doesn't mention anything about having glycolic acid in it, it simply just is a tonic. I love the packaging of this line as 
as well. So this is a 100ml bottle and it was £4. Although this is quite new, there is already 16 five-star reviews on this. The only thing I would say about this is you guys know I love this type of product in a spray bottle. I suppose I could pour it into one. Although having said that, with the pour on ones, I usually just pour them onto my hand. It does mention to use a cotton pad to sweep across the face. So I think I'm gonna try that first. So this is quite fragrant. I can't pinpoint what this smells like. It does smell nice. However, I think if you're not a fan of fragrance in skincare or you have sensitive skin, then I would avoid this. It does mention on the website that this is suitable for all skin types. However, I would say go with what you think is best if you're not a fan of fragrance or it does irritate your skin then i would just say avoid it just to be on the safe side okay let's give this a go i'm using this on one of my reusable cotton pads that i picked up from amazon they're linked in my amazon shop um i've had these for a good few years now okay this does feel nice but I think I'm gonna try it actually without the cotton pad. Sometimes I think you don't get the full experience with the product if you're putting it onto something else. It kind of soaks up into this, if you see what I mean, and you don't have that full concentrated formula that you can put all over your face. So I'm gonna do this with my hands. I like the fact that the stopper at the top allows not lots out. It just pours out the right amount. Okay, that's better. When you pour this on with your hands, I have noticed it does have a slight tacky feel to it. But this has definitely done a great job at hydrating my skin but it is very overpowering the scent of this. It doesn't bother me personally. I can imagine this would be quite a factor, as I said before, with regards to buying this product. I'm definitely gonna keep using this. I think this is a nice one for morning or evening, and I will keep you updated in a future skincare video. Right, moving on to something that I discovered in Superdrug that's new. Superdrug have this whole new line of products called Me Plus and there is a lot of sheet masks in this collection. The one that specifically caught my eye was this Moisture Hyaluronic Sheet Mask with Sodium Hyaluronate and it mentions this hydrates and softens the skin and I also like the fact that this is a biodegradable sheet mask. It also mentions that this is made in Korea, it's cruelty free and it's also suitable for vegans. The only thing I would say about this sheet mask is although it says it has Sodium Hyaluronate in it, it is very low down the ingredients list. I have mentioned this before that you need to look out for the first five ingredients as the most important ingredients. This is the 12th listed down the ingredients list. So this won't have loads of this in, but hopefully it will still be hydrating. I did buy this on the basis that I thought it would have hyaluronic acid in it. I didn't expect it to be so far down the ingredients list. This sheet mask was only $2.99. There is currently no reviews on this because it is so new. This is a well saturated jelly like textured mask. The actual sheet mask itself is made from this really nice thick fabric. It's a tiny bit big for my face but it does mold to the face. Wow. And it feels really nice and soft. On the back, it mentions to leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes. This 
this sheet mask has definitely helped my skin feel a lot more hydrated. It's for sure given me that boost of hydration and also it feels very refreshing. So a nice one to do of a morning, but you could also do this of an evening. I love the fact that this is biodegradable and also the sheet mask itself felt comfortable on the skin. I'm keen to try a couple of others from the collection so I will let you know how I get on with them. It's just a shame that the ingredients it claims it has on the front are not further up the ingredients list. Okay, finally I have one last product that I'm probably the most excited for. I spotted this last week and it is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Sensitive Advanced Face UV Face Fluid. It's an SPF 50 plus with UVB and UVA and long UVA. And the reason why this caught my eye is because it's one of those shaker SPFs. So very similar to the La Roche-Posay one that I shared with you guys a ton of times before. So I thought I would give this one a go because first of all, this was only seven pounds, so a lot cheaper than the La Roche-Posay one. It does have 40 mils of product in it. It's also for fair and sensitive skin. And I didn't see this before, but it says it has hyaluronic acid anti-UV and anti-pollution and it has an ultra light fluid texture. There is 103 five star reviews on this on the Boots website. So it says to shake it up. I like this bottle actually this is good for travel. It's a nice thin slim bottle so you could just slip this in your bag for on the go touch ups. I did feature as well in my skincare to do before makeup video, the Ombre Solaire Garnier UV Spray one. I keep that in the car, I really like that one as well. Okay, this again has the same kind of cap as the La Roche-Posay one. I would say, although this looks runny, I think it's maybe slightly or a tad thicker than the um, La Roche-Posay one. Don't forget the neck, you guys, and the decollete. I just kind of bring it right down as far as I can. Well, this doesn't leave a white cast, which is really nice. It sinks in more or less straight away. It's a tiny bit tacky, but this is really nice. This could be a new favorite and a good dupe. First impression wise, this is a thumbs up, especially for seven pounds, because SPFs can be really expensive. And I do find it a bit annoying how they are so expensive, especially the body ones as well. So I make sure I always can find an offer, but this was the full price of it. It was seven pounds. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products or you would like to try any of these, especially the sun cream if you have tried it I'd love to know your thoughts thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video take care guys bye